skin, nose, ears, lips, or other facial features of a living being cannot be determined from its bone remains. Evolution has shaped these soft tissues, which leave no trace in the fossil, to suit the purposes of their theory and produce imaginary reconstructions in their workshops. Ernest Houghton from Harvard University states that these drawings have no scientific value. You can, with equal facility, model on a Neanderthaloid skull the features of a chimpanzee or the lineaments of a philosopher. These alleged restorations of ancient types of man have very little, if any, scientific value and are likely only to mislead the public. Evolutionists go so far in this subject that they can even invent very different faces for the same skull. The three entirely different reconstructions made for the fossil calls in Santropus is a famous example showing how persistent evolutionists are in producing these false masks. Evolutionists engage not only in drawing and modeling tricks, sometimes they commit deliberate forgeries. The most famous of these frauds is the Piltdown Fossil, introduced in England in 1912 by an evolutionist named Charles Dawson. This fossil was presented as the most important transitional form between ape and man and was displayed in museums for more than 30 years. Experts who re-examined the fossil in 1949 discovered that it was a forgery that had been produced by attaching an orangutan's jaw to a human skull. Another intermediate transitional form fabricated by evolutionists was the Nebraska Man. This was cooked up in 1922 on the basis of a single fossil tooth. The evolutionists did not neglect to give it an ostentatious Latin name, Asparapithecus Harold Cookai, or to make imaginary drawings related to it. It was soon revealed that the tooth that had been the source of inspiration for Nebraska Man, in fact belonged to a wild pig. Many other fossil skulls have been presented as great evidence for evolution failed one by one. Neanderthal man was advanced as evidence in 1856, dismissed in 1960. Piltdown man was advanced as evidence in 1912, dismissed in 1953. Zenzantropus was advanced as evidence in 1959, dismissed in 1960. Ramapithecus was advanced as evidence in 1964, dismissed in 1979. Despite all these facts, these skulls are still presented to the public through the media and in some evolutionist textbooks as if they were scientific facts. In many countries, an important part of the society supposes that evolution is a proven fact. 